buy you food. Um, I'm just trying to see how I can show you how the milk of magnesia works exactly. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shake it up. I measure by the top. Um, first thing I'm going to do is dip my finger in. I only need about that much. I'm going to close my container back up. Oh. Oh. So I kind of got it everywhere. So I'm just going to take it and smooth it over the skin like that. Smooth it over the skin to kind of give it that um, satiny finish. You see it's going to dry. You can kind of sand it to speed up the drying process. It doesn't take long to dry at all. So, pretty much dry. I'm just going to sand it a little more so it kind of dry it a little faster. I'm not sure if you can see, but right here where the white is, if you apply too much, then it will dry to a white. Yeah. So, I'm going to take my stick foundation. This is Clean Color Skin Deep and Nutmeg. Kind of get some up. And you don't need much. Just apply two little lines like that. I'm going to put this back up. And I'm going to go in with my flat top brush by e.l.f. powder brush. And I'm just going to begin to fade it, mix it, have you want to put it. Blend it. That's a better word. I'm going to begin to blend the color on top of the primer. I can do any facial primer and I'm pretty sure you can use this as a eyeshadow primer. To keep your eyeshadow on all day, keep it from creasing. Mix it in over there. Okay, as you can see, it perfectly matches. Um, well, you all probably can't see from the lighting, but dry. And I'm just going to um, go in with my Kiss Press Powder. And this is a maple sugar. I'm just going to, just a demonstration, just get about that much. Well, you are going to see it. Not much. I'm just kind of pressing that into there. I kind of sweep it a little bit and press it. And voila. It's set in. It doesn't come off when I wipe it. It is set in. And that is how you use the milk of magnesia as a facial primer.